What's up planner babes? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with a self-love journaling insert to go in my um, scripture writing journal. Okay, so um, this comes from Print, Pray, Slay and it is a printable called um, Wake, Pray, Slay, Loving Me and this is their Valentine's um, printable and I think it's so so cute but it comes with a lot of pieces and this whole printable is about journaling scriptures and journaling uh, more information about self-love and self-care so I thought this would be perfect to bring to my channel because I was just doing a plan with me about self-care. I don't know if I've uploaded it yet, but I do have a whole weekly spread about um, self-love in my regular Hobonichi cousin. But I wanted to get this self-love or loving me insert into my scripture writing planner because I think it's really going to be a good exercise in understanding more about ways to take care of myself, ways to um, love myself more, and just, just take care of me. And it's very important to take care of yourself. So this is the printable portion that has the dolls on it. I think they're so cute. And I'm going to use this, I'm going to use these dolls in my weekly planner. I'm not going to use them in this particular journaling setup. And then this is more of the scriptures, scripture references, and some clip art. I love these flowers. It says gratitude. Um, so you can find information about these topics in these particular scriptures. So you've got confidence in Hebrews 4.16, I won't fail, Psalm 46 and 5, precious, Isaiah 43 and 4, love me, uh, reasons I love me, that's a header, people that love me, some more clip art here, some more clip art, clip art here, um, I love me, what is self-love, that's what I want to use, I want to use one of those in my um, insert, Lamentations 3, 22 and 23, never ceases, love never ceases, um, Ephesians 2 and 10, is about self-esteem. I need to look that one up. Okay. And then you've got some of the dolls here and then you've got prayers on the side. I printed this on clear paper, clear sticker paper. I printed this on white matte sticker paper. I like to print the words and the florals and things on clear because it looks really good um, in your Bible. And I'm probably going to use some of this in my Bible. Okay. Next are the actual journaling pieces. Now I have already gone ahead and printed these out and I've already punched them and everything because really what I wanted to do today is not go through all of that but really talk to you about the scriptures that coincide with love and self-love and understanding more about taking care of yourself and things like that. So I, but I do want to run through the kit real quick. So this is one of the intro pages and I'm probably going to put a title or something here. And then here is another part of the printable that has the girls at the bottom. And it's got dot grid paper here for you as well. And I've already reduced it down to the right size to fit into my happy planner. And then you've got the scripture of love section and a place that's blank. And you could put more scriptures here. Um, I'm going to put a picture of myself here since this whole insert is about self-love. You can write a scripture here, a prayer here, and then I put the next page on the back that says scriptures about love. So I'm going to write six scriptures here. And isn't this pretty? The florals are just so beautiful. The, the font is really pretty. And then you have another page that says what I love about me with this like brush stroke in the very pretty um, pastel pink. And then there's some more of the like art splashes down at the bottom. And there's a little heart right there. Aww. And then on the back, there is a uh, page that says self-love. Okay, so I've already punched these out and sized them down to fit in my planner. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the scriptures for this um, insert. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome to Peace of the Plans. I do hope that you find some inspiration on my channel and that you will consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on my channel. If you're already a part of the Peace of the Plans fam, thank you so much for coming back. If you want to see how I'm going to use this insert inside my scripture writing journal, just stick around.
Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and put this into my planner. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the February section. And I've just I've already punched it, so I'm just going to lay everything out in the order that I want it in. And then we're going to talk about self-love, y'all, because I really discovered some very interesting information about self-love in doing my research for this video. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put my picture down here of myself. I think I took this sometime last year. I was just sitting in the car taking a selfie. Does anybody else do that? <laughs> Just randomly take a selfie of your of yourself when you're sitting in the car. I wasn't driving. I was in the passenger seat. But um, I just took a picture of myself. And I'm going to use it here in this section. Just a normal everyday picture. Alright, so now that I have that set up, I want to put some um, flowers on this side of the page. So I'm going to talk to you about what I'm going to put here on this page. What I'm going to document here. So I was looking um, on, I'm using the Fun Florals from Happy Planner. I was looking on um, the internet for some information about self-love, and I came across some really, really interesting um, information about what self-love really means. And so that's what I want to document here in this section. What is self-love and there's already a little part of the printable kit that has that on it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and I don't have to be real persnickety about it because it's on clear sticker paper so I'm gonna cut this out and I'm just gonna cut that part out because I'm going to use the rest of that probably in my um, my journaling Bible. So yeah, I was on I was looking on the internet and I found a couple of different articles um, from some psychology magazines and also from some different. Um, you know scholarly articles about self-love and self-efficacy and self-esteem and all that good stuff so that's what I'm going to document here what do we actually mean by self-love that's what's going here so let me put my flowers down and then we'll get to it so I'm using these really pretty roses because I think it matches the whole um, setup here and I think that looks good so far oh yes I love it okay so let me just put a few more flowers down here over a little bit too far it went into my little mushrooms and no problem we'll just cover that little mistake right on up and we'll be none the wiser and there we go all right so I love how that looks hope you can see what I'm doing Okay, I'm going to put the definition of self-love up here in the front. And then in the back, I'm going to write down the seven steps to self-love that she recommended. I'm going to write what I, what I love about myself here in this section. And then I'm going to write the seven steps that she recommended here in this um, portion. And then I'm going to write in the middle the scriptures that I um, am going to add about love. Okay, so let's go over those scriptures. So um, my very first scripture on love is from 1 Corinthians 
13, 4 through 5, and it says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. I went to a workshop one time where the um, it was a women's conference, and the leader of the discussion recommended that we put our name in the place of um, love in this scripture. So it would say like Cam is patient, Cam is kind, Cam does not envy, Cam does not boast, Cam is not proud, Cam does not dishonor others. You see what I'm saying? Putting your name in there so you really begin to take on the fact that you are supposed to be an instrument of God's love and God's peace and God's mercy in the earth. And I, I, I really, really like that. So I may write that in here as well. Isaiah 43 and 4 says, Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Hmm. I need to do some more research on that one. That's a good one. All right. So I am going to um, go ahead and write my scriptures in here. And I'm also going to write down the seven things that um, we can do to show ourselves self-love. So okay, y'all, so I'm back. I have written down um, a definition for what self-love is. I have written down um, the scripture that I read from Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 5, and replace my name with the word love. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to write my prayer here later. I'm not going to do that now. I've written down my scriptures about love and understanding that God loves us and how precious we are to God in this section. How precious I am to God. This is personal. You know what I'm saying? In this section. I'm going to write down what I love about myself later in this section. And then I have the seven steps to self-love from the article that I have down in the description. So these are the seven steps. Be mindful. Know what you think, feel, and want. Act on this knowledge rather than on what others expect. Number two, act on what you need rather than what you want. Turn away from automatic behaviors that keep you stuck in the past. Number three, practice self-care. Nourish yourself daily through healthy activities, sound nutrition, exercise, sleep, intimacy, and healthy social interactions. Number four, set boundaries, set limits, and say no to activities that deplete or harm you physically, spiritually, or emotionally. Five, protect yourself. Bring the right people into your life. Get rid of frenemies <laughs> and surround yourself with those who want to see you shine. Number six, forgive yourself. Grow from your mistakes. And number seven, live intentionally with purpose and design. All right, y'all. So this was really, really good. And I'm going to leave a um, link to the print, pray, slay shop down in the description box. I'm also going to leave my coupon code. So if you want to get this printable for yourself, um, you know, it's the, it's the season of love. It's about to be Valentine's Day this week. So if you want to get this for yourself, and this is a good way to document, you know, what self-love is to you and ways that you can practice self-love and what you love about yourself and some scriptures that will help you remember that you're loved by God and, um, yeah, how precious we are to him. This is a great, a great printable for that. And I'm also going to use the other pieces that I showed you in my journaling Bible. I've cut into it a little bit, but this piece is one in my journaling Bible and the clip art with the wake pray sleigh dolls is going in my weekly planner spreads there's so much that you can get out of this kit and so many different ways that you can use it so if you want to grab it i have the um coupon code and the website down in the description box if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you're not already a part of the piece of the plans fam i hope you'll take a moment and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel y'all i hope that you spend some time practicing self-love i gave you the seven steps <laughs> to help you kind of get started so it's really not just i think before in another video i talked about you know 
getting a massage and going to the movies and while those things are good these are some really practical ways to um, practice self care and self love you know setting those boundaries taking care of your nutrition your health getting enough sleep getting at you know getting some activity into your life those are really practical sound ways to improve your health and show um, that you love yourself, that you're taking care of yourself. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. I hope you have a. I hope your week is full of love and joy, and most of all, peace. I'll see you next time.